Time now for Real Talk with the guys, and this is so refreshing to hear their opinions. <laughs> I it? love it. I love it so yes. much. Yes, so we have Rich, David, Jonathan joining us once again. This time, we're talking about pet peeves. So this can be like op with the opposite sex, if you guys want to venture into that. <laughs> yeah. Probably. If you want to stay married, yeah. I mean, <laughs> wait a minute here. <laughs> yeah. your She's wife, perfect. Your wife is perfect? Yes, yes she exactly. is. Exactly. I've yes. met her. She is really nice. Yeah. <laughs> sure. yeah. She is. Who wants to start on their pet peeves? I will give a safe one. I will okay. say <laughs> lateness. Okay, people um, who are late. Yes. For, well, even for me, like, I try never to be late. I always want to be on time. Uh, if there's a meeting scheduled to start at 4 o'clock, you know, I will get there a little bit early, yeah. and I expect the meeting to start at four. So when people come in at 4.03, 4.04, like, it really gets to me. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And to me piggyback too. that a little bit, it's interesting, and everybody, every office has them. People that are habitually late. Yes. They know they're late. They know, you know, they're late. Everybody knows they're late, and they continue. To, it's like, wow, you mm -hmm. go through your life late all yeah. the time? Yeah. How do you yeah. do it that? Gives, it gives me actual anxiety. anxiety. I physically feel it when like, I am late for something and Topher yes. hates that about yeah. me because I'm stressed and I'll, mm -hmm. if he's driving, he hates it more because I'm like, listen, drive like you care. <laughs> the only Which I'm yeah. sure is a pet peeve of yours. Do you have <laughs> yeah. with driving? Oh, dri oh driving is, is... Backseat drivers? Yeah. Is that one? I know you have one. What, what's your pet peeve? Uh, my pet peeve is when people stop at a yield sign. I know that's not a, oh. maybe not not, oh. not the biggest, oh. but like it's, like, it's one of the most dangerous it though. Is, it it's, is. Like, it's a life or death one. Yeah, it is absolutely. Because you're supposed to keep going no. through and then merge rather than stop and wait for people to get. I'm like, yeah. come on, go. Yeah, I'm it's surprised so, that Orange it's, Avenue on 581 there's oh not a wreck every, every day. Yes. People getting on it. It's, yeah. it's absolutely unbelievable. Yes. A lot of mine are driving. I think most people pet peeves mm -hmm. are driving because it's kind of the one thing you do every day in the community, you know, where you yeah. are interacting in a way with yeah. other people. They're, do you get road rage? Do you yell at them? Yes. Oh, yeah. You do? Oh, I absolutely you do. Will. Do you yell at people? Oh, I'll yell and honk the horn. So, you know, <laughs> oh, here we go. Do tell. I know. Being, being from New York, obviously a lot of the drivers down here bother me, <laughs> but I had a very proud father moment the other day. I was bringing my daughter to preschool and I was stuck behind somebody who was making the left turn and they had plenty of opportunities in my mind to go. They didn't go, didn't go, didn't go. <laughs> so I, I very PG yelled out, come on, person. And my three-year-old daughter. I'm sure it was No, it's like exactly what I okay, said, actually. Okay, person, good. And because I had Katie in the car. And um, <laughs> she replied, Daddy, the person in front of us doesn't know how to drive. This is my three-year-old. She's already oh, identified I him. Oh, I, just, oh I gave her a look back and said, I love you. <laughs> so, yeah, there, there are, are a lot of... You are my child. Yes. yes. Yeah. There, there are a lot of drivers. A lot of them are, are driving. Uh, for me, I mean, little things, and you brought up, you know, little thing. When you're in the supermarket and you're pushing a cart and you stop that cart in the middle of the aisle and go walk down the aisle to go look at the soup or whatever, <laughs> and the cart is sitting in the middle I of the that. aisle. Yeah, oh, you do, you, it's you. <laughs> It's one of those things so like, like you where just, is that? You and just can't like, move it yeah. over to the side to get, you know, I mean, you know, that's just one of those things. Like, oh, I, had, I, I had a lady do that. She was walking in a Kroger. She stopped in the middle of the, uh, you know, electronic closing sliding doors, was cleaning the cart, was on the phone, stopped in the middle, <laughs> created a log jam. And when I finally said to her, ma'am, can you get out of the way? I'm cleaning. I'm calling you out if you're watching. I'm sorry. But that was, you should have gotten out of the way. Right, exactly. Oh. All right, what about the opposite sex? Oh, boy. You don't have to talk about your, your significant others yeah, or your wives. Just opposite sex. Oh, but boy, just this is exciting. Oh, in general, what he is said, your oh, pet yeah, okay. peeve? Let's go. I see I the fear in your eyes. I don't even. This is real talk with real got, guys. I have. He, he's the only one that's not married. He has the most to lose on this yeah, conversation. Yeah, I, I don't have. I think women are great. <laughs> oh, 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 what a cop out that was right there. I, love it so I much. think women are great. <laughs> <laughs> like a He's true single guy. <laughs> the single guy. Okay. okay right. All right. David. It's up to you guys. Oh, oh, okay. Specifically, going back a little bit here, my wife's the worst backseat driver ever. Okay. Uh, but the worst one. We're, we're going down the road, and, you know, a truck on 81, it, it's moving a little bit. It, it, it's in the lane. While, Dave, do you see that tr tr truck? Do you see it? Do you see it? I'm not driving blindfolded over. I see what's going on. I mean, she wants me to slam the brakes. And, oh, oh, it's trouble. You know, hit the brakes. One time I did it. I'll tell. I'll come in a call her one time. We were getting ready. We were going on vacation, and we're driving. We're taking a train. We're driving to the train station, and tr it's dark. It was a little wet, and I'm driving, and she is just nonstop. It's like 4:30 in the morning. There's nobody on the road, and she is like, "Oh, you're going too fast." Middle of the road. I stopped. I got out of the car. 
I said, you want to drive? <laughs> oh, no. Then get in the car. In let's the go. And, then, and she's the like, get back in the car. Get back in the car. Oh, yeah, I'm in the middle of the road. Really? Get back in the car. You know. So we, that we, my wife and I, years and years, we've been married 31 years. This goes back to the right. beginning of yeah. my driving. And, you know, so that's kind of my biggest pet peeve yeah. with her, with, you know, member of the opposite sex. That'd be right. Bad, no doubt. Right. No All right, Rich, do you even I'll, want it? I'll take what he was just talking about. And I know that this story is safe to tell. But in that situation, and I've said this to her, and I've actually stopped saying this to her because if I am driving and she's doing the same, th same thing and I say to Amanda, would you like to drive? She says yes. <laughs> <laughs> so she's, she's pretty yeah. much taking that away from yeah, me. Yeah. So <laughs> there you go. Yes. I don't I even have it. that. I don't even We've have started that. to where I drive. Like, yeah. I will ask because we know that mm -hmm. it's going to be a thing because I'm yeah. a terrible backseat driver. Yeah. yeah. But guys, thank yeah. you so Our much. Pleasure. And the con conversation can continue. Just head on over to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Daytime Blue Ridge, and let us know what your pet peeves are. We would love to hear <laughs> it. <laughs>